Thank you very much, Cindy. All right, on to our house call now. 89% of breast cancer patients will survive. For prostate cancer, that number jumps to 96. For pancreatic cancer, sadly, only 6% of patients will survive. Today is World Pancreatic Cancer Day, an awareness campaign one young survivor fully supports. We share Catherine's story in the host call. <laughs> you happy? Happy girl? Catherine Michelitas doesn't take time spent with her family for granted. Two years ago, a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer threatened their future together. My urologist had sent me for a CAT scan. Um, to look for kidney stones, and in my CAT scan, that's where they found a tumor on my pancreas. The 28-year-old says she had vague symptoms, similar to those of a urinary tract or bladder infection. Her cancer was caught early, and she underwent laparoscopic surgery in December 2014. They made four small incisions in my abdomen, and they were able to remove um, half of my pancreas as well as my spleen. Is that? Michelitas didn't require the more invasive Whipple surgery, the most common treatment for pancreatic cancer, or any chemotherapy or radiation. She has since given birth to her daughter, Melina, and is now cancer-free. She considers herself one of the lucky ones. When you look at the statistics online, you know, I told my mom at the time, and she said, don't Google it because 8% of pancreatic cancer patients will survive after five years. Dr. Mark Walsh performed Michelitis' operation. He says the cure rate of those who undergo surgery is only between 15 and 20%. That means that 80% of the people that AI operate on, that anybody who does this kind of surgery operates on, will get the cancer back, most within two and a half years. Dr. Walsh says better methods of detection, spreading awareness, and more research are key. The problem with pancreatic cancer is that there's no good detection system, early detection system, and given where the pancreas is, which is right here in the middle, right at the back, it's the last place you're going to find any kinds of problems. Two percent of funding in Canada goes towards pancreatic cancer. That's such a small percentage and I believe it's a lot due to awareness. At the time of her diagnosis, Michelitas had a three-year-old son at home, making the grim statistics even more difficult to face. She's sharing her story to help change those frightening stats for future patients. Not a lot of people know what this purple ribbon is for. The purple ribbon is for pancreatic cancer. Everyone knows what the pink ribbon is. It's breast cancer. Um, so awareness is definitely key to creating funds for research and education on the, on the cancer. And creating hope for those living with the disease. Wow, wishing her all the best. All right.